In this video is going to show you an example of a two-step mole conversion problem. So I'm going to use this example here where I'm going from grams, 78.2 grams of CH4 to molecules. I want to know how many molecules are in that many grams. So I'm setting the problem up the same way I would any other molar conversion uh, question. So I have my given on top of 1, and then I'm going to multiply that by some conversion factor. So if you take a look at your mole conversion flowchart, we're starting over here with grams, and what we want to get to is molecules. So you'll see that there's not an arrow that goes directly from grams to molecules. So what we're going to have to do is go from grams to moles, and then do another step to get from moles to molecules. And that's why I call it a two-step problem because you're going to have to multiply it by two different conversion factors to get all the way to the answer you want. So the first step we'll use is this conversion factor, one mole over the grams in the substance, which is the molar mass. And the second one we'll multiply it by is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules over one mole. So here I have it set up with my first step in. And remember, when you're going from moles to grams, this grams down here is going to be your molar mass. So I'll calculate the molar mass of CH4 to plug in there. So now I've calculated the molar mass, and I'm just going to plug that number in here for grams. And now I'm ready for my second step. So now I'm at moles, I want to go all the way to molecules. So for our next step, we're going to use the conversion factor that goes from one mole on the bottom to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules on top. So now we have our problem completely set up with both of the steps. We can go ahead and cancel out our units. So all the ones that are the same on the top and the bottom can cancel, so our grams of CH4 and our moles of CH4 cancel, and that just leaves us with molecules of CH4, which is what we wanted our answer to be in, so we know we have it set up right. And then you're going to multiply all the tops together, so multiply 78.2 times 1 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, and that number divide by the bottoms, it is 16.043 and 1. So when I multiplied the numbers on the top, I got 4.71 times 10 to the 25th. Now I'm going to divide that by the numbers on the bottom. So I divided by 16.43. And that number, when I plug it into my calculator, is going to come out to 2.94 times 10 to the 24th power and our unit is molecules of CH4.